Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanna to talk about long exposure photography. This is something I've been doing a lot more lately and I just wanted to make a video about it. So first off, what I use is my Canon 5D Mark IV and often my Rokinon 14 millimeter F2.8. It's a manual focus lens, which comes in really handy when you're doing long exposures because you don't need autofocus for it. But I also use my 35 millimeter f2 canon lens occasionally if i need to get a little closer and the 14 is a little too wide so here are some tips that i use and i think could be helpful to others so the first tip is always use a tripod when you're going at a long shutter speed you're not going to be able to handhold it even if it's a stabilized lens so put your camera on a tripod and that will get you started then second you want to start you want to set the focus Setting the focus, typically you can just use the back screen and just set the focus. If you have autofocus, you can set the focus and then flip it into manual mode. And that way you know it's really sharp. It's gonna be sharp. And if you're on a tripod, which you should be, you can throw the aperture to like F22, F8, and that will give you more depth in your shot. So once you set the once you set focus, go ahead and set your ISO and your shutter speed and everything to get the right exposure that you are wanting without maybe blowing out any highlights of it, the cars or street lights or whatever it may be that you're shooting at. Then when you're taking the photo, what comes in handy is if you can use a remote or if like you have a 5D Mark IV, you can connect it to your phone and use your phone as the shutter. That way you don't get a camera shake when you set, when you go to take the photos. And if you don't have a remote and you don't have a camera that allows you to remotely hit the shutter with your phone, just put the camera in a delayed shutter, like a two second or a 10 second. That way when you push it, it gives it a couple seconds to kind of settle so it doesn't have any camera shake and then it'll take the photo. I hope these tips helped you guys. I hope uh, you share some photos. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and you use some of these tips and try it out, go ahead and tag me in them. I'd love to see them. Um, I'm going to show some of my photos at the end here that I've taken recently of long exposures, whether it be of waterfalls or of downtown cars passing neon lights or whatever it may be. So thanks for coming back. I'm going to be trying to create more videos. And if you have any suggestions, just let me know.